Hi everyone, it's Melanie with Tracy Aviary and Botanical Gardens uh, here with another What's Blooming tour. So, this is a secret. You can't share it with anyone else because I'm going to hook you up with some delicious treats to try on your next visit. So this is probably going to be a two-part uh, tour just because um, obviously plants have different blooming times and thus different uh, fruiting times. So we're going to hit two of my absolute favorites. This is a secret because I don't like sharing. My service varies with people, but they're so delicious and I like you guys enough that I hope that you will stop in and try some of these. So first the caveat, um, this is not me encouraging you to go and eat any berry that you see on any shrub or tree just because that's a risk. So always make sure you know what you're looking for. That's why I'm going to show you a specific spot to look at um, and try some of my service berries um, and a couple other things. So I am standing right here at one of the entrances to the Kennecott Wetland Experience. Um, I am just southeast of the gift shop. So just to orient us, we're by the Chase Mill. Um, so right here over me is one of my top 10 favorite plants. I've talked about them in previous tours. So this is a service berry. It's a plant that has a lot of common names. So you'll also hear shadbush, Saskatoon blueberry, um, Juneberry, called Juneberry because they berry in June. So unlike a lot of store-bought fruits, um, you can eat these even when they're not quite ripe, which is really nice because they're already sweet. The best ones are going to be a deeper purple, um, but even when they're slightly underripe, i.e. a little more on the pinky red side, they're still delicious. So you'll see they look sort of like kind of a variety of blueberry, not related. Um, but they do taste sort of like blueberries. They are delicious. If you can eat these right off of the bush, they would make really delicious pies, um, jams. Uh, crushed up, they'd make really fancy iced tea lemonade. I've used it as a flavor kombucha just for an experiment. Um, amazing. So, Amelink here, Grandiflora Autumn Brilliance is this particular one. There is a sign. Again, this is me saying, only eat what you know is going to be safe. Um, but another treat right next to it is something that we've also talked about. So I figured we'll talk about this friend as well. These are golden currants. So they're called go golden currants because the flowers are gold. So these are just starting out to ripen. So they start out green, turn yellow, then orange, then red, and sometimes black. So these are delicious. Again, you can eat these right off of the bush, um, but you can also use them in jams. Um, but they are more on the tart side, even when they're fully ripe, they're less sweet than the service berry are. Um, so these are really beautiful and delicious. So again, please stop and try some of our delicious fruits, but only tell people that are cool and don't tell uncool people because I don't like sharing. Um, so this is stop one. We're gonna have a stop two in a week or two when some of our other secret delicious treats are ready. Um, so I hope to see you here. Uh, let us know if you try any and how much you love them. They're just so pretty. 